In this video, I finally get cool. That's right, I'm skateboarding and making cool skateboards like a cool guy. It's time to midlife crisis it up with Jazza. Hello fellow kids. That was a reference. Confession time, I can't skateboard. <gasps> Surprising, I know. All right. But I have a theory that I want to test out today. Uh, art is cool and I'm good at art. And confidence with skateboarding is I think what makes you be able to pull off the tricks. If I make it look cool, I'll feel cool. And if I feel cool, I'm confident. And if I'm confident, I skateboard well. And if I skateboard well, I'm cool. Let's, let's figure this out. I'm sensing doubt from behind the cameras here. Oh, no, not at all. You guys think I'm cool, right? Yeah. All right, we're gonna dabble before we dive. And we're gonna start off by customizing skateboards the way pretty much all custom projects start. Posca pens. Start off by sanding. You need a rough surface for adhesion. See all this smooth, glossy? That ain't gonna work for what we're going for. You want a little bit rough. All right. Nice and sanded. For our dive, we're gonna tape it up and do it all pretty. For our dabble, just gonna do a middle area just to demonstrate. Ultra cover paint and primer. Bit of a base coat. That gives us a nice canvas to go down with our Posca markers. So, next we pick a cool subject. Uh, for example, skulls and flames. Timeless cool uh, things. Let's lay down a sketch first. So I'm just gonna rough in a little bit of a cool skull and I don't mind the wood texture at the top of the skateboard because I'll have the flames sort of fade out as it goes higher up. So we're going art on the bottom part of the skateboard. Or well, the bottom part of the bottom part of the skateboard. You know what I mean. Now, because a few layers of Posca pen paint looks really solid and clean, I'm gonna go for a pretty cartoony vibe that I reckon will complement the medium. I gotta establish my colors before I work with them. In this case, going from a sharp red to a bright orange and then yellow. Gradienting up to that wood. Off to a good start, I actually haven't used the metallic Poscas before. Now, some of you remember, the last time I actually used the Poscas, aside from when I customized the, ear, 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 the Apple headphones, was um, with the door. I also did the door, did the full door with Posca pens. That's why half of these are totally out of ink. But I never, I've never used metallics, so this is a good opportunity to muck around. Let's go a gold skull. Watching paint dry is cool. <laughs> I am not minding how this is looking for a dabble. I've got to be honest, the uh, metallics, I'm not sold on. Maybe it needs multiple layers, but not great, but that Posca look is really, really cool. I want to do two things before wrapping up. I've got fluoro. I haven't used fluoro before and I want a fluoro, well, first of all, I'm dabbling, so I need to see if it looks good, but I sort of want a Band-Aid on like the forehead. It's like a cute pink neon Band-Aid because, you know, falling over on a skateboard is cool. Actually, if it is cool, I'm, I'm cool. I've got to stop saying cool. That's really forced at this point. Everyone in the comments has already said that. Ooh, I'm liking this. Let's give it, let's give the dude some green eyes. Give it a bit of color pop. I don't mind this. This is a dabble though. Actually, I mean, even on camera, like I can see in the monitor, further away, it looks better further away. Hey, what do you think of my skateboard? Pretty cool, huh? It actually is from back there, right? Just don't zoom in. <laughs> this is my dabble and it looks pretty cool. Does it make me skate better though? Well, let's find out. Whoa. 
no. All that tells me is I haven't committed. It says nothing about my skateboarding skills. It says something about the universe judging my lack of commitment to the art. That was a dabble. Let's dive. The whole point of this video and project is to make something really cool. I'm trying to win back the cred I never had as a teenager. We have someone pretty cool in the studio who's gonna feed back on the direction if it's gonna be cool enough. Cause this is our dive. It's gotta be cool. This cool guy. How can I be more like you, Gareth? Well, fortunately I found an article from the Washington Post about 20 things that are currently cool according to teenagers. All right, these are the cool things. I need you to verify this. Snapchat is cool. Is it? Hating things that are cool is cool. I do hate a lot of things. Getting drunk to the point of getting sick. Not cool. cool. Frozen is cool. Frozen one or two. Two. Hell no! Roaming your local city slash area with your friends without a real agenda. Very cool. E-cigarettes or vaping. Electronic dance music or EDM. Being smart is cool. Pokemon! Timelessly cool. It's an excuse to do more Pokemon. I'm happy with that. Living, living the life of a rapper, I guess. A little bit like me. Go on. <laughs> My name is Gareth. I'm the best. I'm better than all the rest. Uh, having a car. Extremely Very cool. cool. No makeup selfies. Following the rules and listening to your parents. Just kidding. That last one's from a dad. <laughs> dads. dads. Dads are cool. Dads are very, very cool. Dad squad. You know what? I agree. I'm gonna do a cool dad artwork on this skateboard and fit in a few other cool things according to the Washington Post. Let's go. First things first, I gotta prep my skateboard. And in my dabble and just demonstrating how to do that in a lasting way, it was messy, but I want this to be neat. So after thoroughly sanding all of the rear surfaces of the skateboard, it was then on to taping up all of the wheels, including the edges, so I can mask out and cover the logos on the side of the wheels and have a really blank canvas to work from. Then I needed a sketch and figure out a way to make the coolest of this list of cool things work on the skateboard. Starting off with a central character, Elsa, surrounded of course by a variety of other cool things. Now as informed by the Washington Post, there's nothing cooler than having pronounced eyebrows. It gives off a different vibe, I gotta say. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say confident. Now layering in the Posca pens is a bit of a challenge at times. Like I sort of mentioned, doing a couple of layers always makes it a bit stronger and then also trying to dry it a little quicker so I can get through this piece to all of the cool things. Using a heat gun gently does make some of the paint crackle. I mean, even in areas where I don't. So I'm gonna have to come back and revisit some of these areas, but let's move on to the rest of the piece. Starting with the rearmost background, because it will serve as a framing for the rest of my skateboard. And this, of course, is an EDM, uh, electro electronic dance music uh, club that people go to and dance and club, or so I'm told. I mean, I go, I go, I go to clubs, dance, cool dances, so. I painted this background in exclusively fluoros, both to create a distinction between the background and the foreground elements, and to go for a really cool mix vibe. The background is fluoro, everything else is really strong, solid, and cartoony. Which then takes us to our social icons. Starting off with, according to the Washington Post, the very hip Snapchat, worth $4 billion. Wait, hang, hang. This article's from 2014. Oh no. Oh, Snapchat's worth less than a billion dollars now. It's less cool. Oh no, I put Vine on this skateboard. It says in the article, Vine and Instagram are both popular photo and video sharing app from 2014. Oh my God, what have I done? I'm committed now. Uh, we're doubling down. It's gonna be ironically cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> Twitter, though it was probably cool in 2014, it's even cooler now. Cause if you look up on Google Trends, Twitter is trending. A lot of people talking about Twitter right now. So it must be super popular and doing really well and in a really stable place. And a lot of people are excited to get on board and see where the future of the platform's going. <laughs> Of, of course, that's entirely not true. Everyone knows what's happening on Twitter. I don't need to elaborate except to say, good Lord, what a trash fire. <laughs> Vine, of course, is a haven 
for creative content that, oh yeah, wait, 2014. Uh, Vine's dead. And then we have Instagram. This one was actually a bit of a challenge. Posca pens don't blend well with each other. So I had to sort of smush the colors into each other in a way that sort of created a gradient. I think it works well enough, especially as I come back and add sharp gray outlines around the white and black around the logo itself. I think it sort of frames it in a really sharp, clean way that makes the gradient almost look, you know, nice. It distracts at least from a bit of the blotchiness of it. And then last but not least, we have Facebook. And while it was cool to hate on Facebook in 2014, I have to say, I think that's still pretty relevant now. In fact, probably more relevant than ever. And to finish off my beautiful skateboard, I painted a scene at the very tippy top of a couple of cool people hanging out in the city, uh, or, or as the Washington Post describes, roaming the local area slash city uh, with your friends without a real agenda. So they don't have a real agenda and you know they're cool because <laughs> they got a car. Yeah, that's right. And they don't, they got a car and no plans. Cool. <laughs> but you know what's really cool? Peeling the tape off of nicely painted art pieces. And you know what's even cooler than that? When the tape is peeled off, cutting to epic reveals of cool artworks. Now, I don't know about you, but if someone showed up to a skate park using this, I'd be mightily impressed. I would actually think it's cool. I know the article was from 2014, but I think that makes this ironic, which is cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. Let's go to a skate park, but you know what's the coolest thing of all? Safety. You know, as I was ripping sick tricks at the local skate park and impressing the locals, I just got to thinking, what is cool in the end anyway? Because it occurred to me, I don't need to be the best skateboarder in the world to be cool. I just need to be myself. And at the end of the day, the cool thing is really the friendships you make along the way. And let's face it, art's more my thing than skateboarding. So I'm gonna pay it forward and give away my cool board to some local dudes. Do you want a custom skateboard? No, that's alright. Okay, all right. fair. that's fair. Thanks for watching. It's been a real journey. I've learned about what's cool. And what's cool really at the end is you. Because you watch this video and that makes us friends. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. That'd be pretty cool. And uh, hang around for the next video. It won't, I swear to God, I'm not going to do this again. Make it look easy. It's really not. Oh wait, are you giving it away? Yeah, that's what I'm... For oh. free? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. Okay. Have oh, a skateboard, dude. No. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Yeah, you too.